Hey, this is Matt again, and I am here to give you two series of programming tutorials. The first series will be about simple functions of GameMaker, and the second series will be more advanced functions of GameMaker for advanced users. In this first tutorial, starting the simple series, I'm going to be showing you how to create a player and how to make it move around the screen. I'm starting this tutorial with a sprite already, and if you don't know how to create a sprite, Go and watch Dan's first tutorial on how to create sprites. It's very useful. So, now that we have a sprite from Dan's tutorial, I'm going to create an object and program it. Click this blue sphere to create an object. Now the object window comes up. Under name, I'm going to type in player. Under sprite, I'm going to select the newly created player sprite. GameMaker's programming is completely based on cause and effect, otherwise known as events and actions. This left area is the cause, the right area is the effect. So, for a cause, I want the player to press a key. So I'll go add event, keyboard, right. The right means the right arrow key, which will be best for moving around a player. Then, I'll go to this, move, this first move block here, called move fixed. I'll click on it and drag it into our actions. You can leave all these settings the same, but in the middle, we want to click the right arrow. Speed, you can choose whatever you want, but I think 4 is a pretty good speed for any player. I'll explain the relative later, just leave it blank. Now that we have it for right, we want to do left, up, and down. So, I'm just going to do that now. Drag up the move fix block. Click left. Set the speed to 4, click OK. Add event, keyboard, up, drag in the move block, click the up, click speed 4, add event, keyboard, down, drag in the move fix block, down, speed, 4. Now, we'll be able to move our player left, right, up, and down. Next, we're going to put our character inside of a room and run it, and run our game. Click the Create a Room button, and it will create, a, it will automatically create a room that looks something like this. In dance tutorials, we'll go over how to create a background to make your room look a lot better than this solid gray. But for now, we already have our, we're just going to place our player by left clicking anywhere on the screen. Then I'll click the green check mark, then click the green arrow to run the game. Now that our game's running, I can use the arrow keys to start moving our player in every direction. You notice that once you press the arrow key, the player will continue to move in a direction until you press another. This is a problem that can be fixed easily with a different type of programming. So, exit our example, go back into your player object. Instead of using the move fix command, which basically allows you to start moving in a direction, we want a lot more precise controls. So let's go back to our right event. Delete the move fix. We're going to go under control and drag out a variable block. Now, basically, every single room in GameMaker is a grid. So as you probably know, X on a grid is the horizontal axis and Y is the vertical axis. So if we want to move right, we want to add to the ver to the horizontal axis, so which is also known as x. So we'll say x, and we're going to set x to value plus 4. So wherever the player is, we're going to be adding 4 to its x, which is going to move it right. If you don't understand this yet, just hang on. You'll probably catch, it, catch on soon. Since we just don't want to set x to 4, we want to set it to plus 4, we need to hit the relative key. Then click OK. Now, we're going to need to do this for every single direction. I'll walk you through it. For left, instead of adding 4, we're going to want to drag out our variable block, x, subtract 4, move, moving backwards on the horizontal axis. Click the relative box. Now, for up. Most of you probably think that up is positive y. 
But for some reason, GameMaker decided to reverse it to confuse all of us. So we're going to set variable y. If we're going up, we actually want to set it to negative 4, not positive 4. It can get confusing, but you'll get used to it eventually. Then click OK. For down, since it's reversed on a, on a normal graph, we're going to want to set it to positive 4. So we're going to set y to 4, and then click relative. I don't really need the plus sign in front of 4, because since I click relative, it knows that I want to add 4. Then I'll click OK. Now that we're done this, we can try running our game again. Now you can see, your character only moves when you press a certain key. And, if you press two keys at the same time, you can even move in diagonal directions. You may see other methods of moving your character around in other tutorials, but I think the variable grid system is the best, because it allows you to go in, in all kinds of different directions, even diagonals, and it's fairly easy to learn. Thank you for watching, subscribe, and stay tuned for our next tutorials.